All right, Anti-Social Social Club, Spring Summer 2021 Collection, dropping Saturday, April 3rd, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You guys can read, it's all right there. Currently, it's password protected. When the drop happens, 8 a.m. Saturday, it'll open up, everybody will be able to get in. If you're unfamiliar with how that works, that's kind of how it's gonna go. And before we take a look at what's actually dropping, I wanna say I don't support this brand. I've ordered from them in the past, but a lot of people have gotten burnt by them where they just don't get their product and do a chargeback. I myself have also, you know, unfortunately now um, I'm among that list of people. I got a mastermind collaboration track jacket and they just never sent it, but they marked it as shipped. So it makes a chargeback difficult when they say they did ship it, but never actually shipped. But that's another story and we're just going to be taking a look at the items that are dropping because i know people like when i review this they like to see what they've got even though it's the same thing every season we're still going to be taking a look at it so this season they start off the teaser with this waffle machine and i like waffles i think they're good um i prefer them to pancakes so not bad we have this jaded design i'm just going to skim over a lot of these these are designs that we'll see on shirts later but we have the stressed and de-stress or stressed and depressed uh, i don't like a lot of the fonts used right here stressed and i don't like either of those depressed is an all right font um antisocial does this a lot where they have phrases that play on mental health issues, stressed and depressed. Um, I just got a lot of issues like that, or they got a lot of designs like that, I suppose I should say. Uh, we also have this instant gratification one done in the antisocial kind of wavy spell out. I don't think it's that bad. I'd rather see something else written in the font than antisocial just over and over again, like we have right here. On the first lookbook picture, we just have a circle and then split down the middle. You know, you guys can see. I don't really, yeah, I, I don't care for this. Maybe if they had some more interesting colorways, something that made this look cool. I don't know. Uh, I just, you know, it doesn't pique my interest. We also have this, which is a, I believe it's just a long sleeve. You just got antisocial and a bunch of flowers all over the place. Uh, we have the stressed and depressed stuff coming in a green and yellow colorway with the antisocial logo below it. Uh, we have this antisocial logo on the chest. If you're not familiar with the brand, they just do small stuff on the chest and then big stuff on the back. Uh, so close up, kind of here, <clears throat> the view from the back. I don't mind this font. It doesn't look that bad. Reminds me of a lot of fonts that like electricians will use for their businesses. And then you can also see the drawstring bag is, you know, kind of hard to see, but you can tell that it's done in the fashion of one of those like high res uh, construction worker pieces. That being said, drawstring bags are dead. I'm, I'm, I don't know if anybody really wants those. Uh, next up, we have this overthinking stuff. We'll see pictures of these later. I'm getting strong like text message vibes. So I, I think it's kind of whack. Here's the jaded stuff that we saw before. That design got jaded on the front and then uh, almost like an overspray, spray painted anti-social social club logo. You can see it's a little blurry because they have the, the spray along the outside. Not really digging it. Uh, we have this, <laughs> this upside down logo. Uh, got anti-social social club done in a different, uh, I suppose it, it almost looks like it's still done in the same spell out. The wavy stuff is just distorted. And then she has a sock on her hand. Almost look like they, yeah, it looks like they glued some googly eyes to it to make like a sock puppet. Next up, we have this one. All over print, a floral pattern on the hoodie. Uh, with, you know, of course, it wouldn't be an antisocial hoodie without that antisocial logo on the chest. And then, you betcha, big on the back as well. So... Yeah, I guess I don't mind the floral pattern. I'd rather, I, I guess I'd rather have them do a crazy all over print to at least make the hoodie interesting if they are just gonna plaster a logo we've seen a million times in the front and back. 
next up we have Welcome to the Club, which if you guys aren't familiar with the brand, uh, I think after every drop, not during, I think it's like after they close it back up, they usually send out this email or make this Instagram post. I, I forget exactly what it is, but they usually send this out and it's the flowers, usually facing the upward direction instead of downward and then it says Welcome to the Club. So kind of a nod to that if you guys are uh, aware of the brand. We also have this one with a bunch of different like paint bubbles. I forget exactly where this is from, kind of the style, what this style reminds me of. I want to say it's like one of the Olympics. They had the branding like this where it was a bunch of different like wavy patterns of all these bright colors, possibly. I want to say it was that, or maybe like the World Cup or something, one of those years, I, I don't know, but big big vibes from that. We also have this one, kind of hard to tell what's going on, but I'm sure, yep, we get that big logo on the back. So we got the Antisocial Social Club spell out, done in a little bit more of an exaggerated style, where it still follows kind of that waviness of the, the OG logo, if you will, but this time get a little bit more distortion in it. And then in the background, we have a flag. We're also going to see a couple different hoodies, a couple more hoodies like this with some more locations, some more flags in different colorways. Uh, <clears throat> I'll, I'll wait till we get to those so you guys can see that. We also have this instant gratification. We saw this design before. I think before it was like blue and gray. This time we got like some Pulp Fiction colors or whatever. Um, not bad. This hoodie looks very thin though doesn't it it's got like it's got no bones it's not standing up at all anyway we have <laughs> we have this one which we'll see the design later i'll talk about it, it just looks i don't know this one's really dumb in my opinion uh next up we're getting into the accessories i think usually they do it where they show off all the all the like lookbook pictures then all the up close to the design pictures then all the actual item pictures and then they'll do the uh, accessories and then collaborations. I wanna say that's how they usually do it, but this year they're doing it a little bit different. We got all the accessories here. So this is a trash can. Uh, not much not much else to say about that. It's a trash can. Maybe you can uh, put whatever you order inside. Oh, oh no, I'm just kidding. Haha, -ha, this fits your drops. <laughs> this will be tiny, LOL. Yeah, it does look like it's miniature, so keep that in mind. Uh, it might be a keychain. I know they sh showed off some other keychains. Uh, we have this inflatable tube or whatever you want to call it. And then a, a mat, maybe? I don't know exactly. <laughs> Somebody said Among Us. <laughs> Looks sus. Yeah, it's kind of funny. <laughs> uh, what else we got going on here? We got the waffle iron that we saw before. I like waffles. Not bad, not bad. Uh, yeah. Yeah. A lot of their, their stuff is just branded pink. It's similar to Supreme, how they do the, the red stuff with the box logo. Antisocial just does pink stuff with their logo. Uh, here we have a grinder for tobacco, of course. Uh, next up, we have a personal fan. I think this is like a smaller handheld fan, but not a big fan of this. Oh, God. We got all the comedians in the chat. Uh, we have highlighters. A couple of years ago, they started doing this where a lot of their pieces are kind of like back to school themed. So you'll see stuff like pencils and notebooks. Uh, we have a lint roller. You can tell it's a lint roller by this picture. Got a little guard for it. I've never seen a guard for a lint roller like that. Uh, we also have some tongs, you know, those things you pick up and anti-social branding on the side, of course, and pink. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what this is some type of yeah what is this exactly a clothes hamper it's maybe what i was thinking drink cooler i don't know looks pretty small i'm, I'm gonna go with like a koozie a cozy koo, koozie a koozie for drinks but then they have this big strap it doesn't look that big though i'm, I'm guessing that's what it is a drink holder uh we have the drawstring bags in the orange colorway you know the one we saw before was this one but bam we got the uh construction colorways tied away with these moving forward we have an a this is a keychain then we also have a construction vest keychain which 
I haven't seen anything indicating that this is going to drop. No lookbook pictures, no actual pictures of it. They have dropped a construction vest in the past though. So maybe it's just a nod to that. Uh, we have this, which is some sort of uh, solar charging device. I guess maybe it's just a battery. You have a power button right here. Um, <laughs> at this point, you guys are just making souvenir shop items. I'm not lying. Uh, we have a pen with, is this a stylus in the back? I don't know. Uh, I think this is a laser pointer. And then we have fake lipstick. It'd be kind of cool to get some lipstick but it's uh, like a fake lipstick pen, which is strange. They must just go to like whoever their supplier is and pick all the new stuff they have for the season and then just put antisocial on it. Got some socks here. I don't like these. I don't like that. I don't like this. Uh, purple's all right. That's not bad. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I like I like that color purple that they use, almost like a lavender. I'm not, not feeling any of these other socks. They've done this design, this pattern before. I don't know if they've done it on socks, and I think it might have been maybe a little bit more condensed. They definitely did this on like hoodies last season though. Not too bad, not not a bad design. I don't think the antisocial fits in very well though. They should have added a like thin white outline around it, or maybe just outlined it in black, so it was actually easier to see. It's kind of hard to distinguish behind, or in front of all the flags. All right, next up we have the caps. We have this floral one, I don't like this. We have this lightning one. I'm a fan of lightning, I think this lightning looks fine, but I don't know if all over on a cap is the, the best silhouette for it. I also like this outlined antisocial spell out, but yeah, I just, I don't know. We got some bucket hats, which I will say the silhouette looks weird on these. Uh, this big block text reminds me of uh, one of the animes, I forget which one, some like anime brand or whatever, Shonen Jump, uh, I forget what it reminds me of, but I've never been a fan of this antisocial spell out, and they've been using it a lot ever since they first introduced it, like two years ago or whatever. We have this, Never Again, Never You, I forget what this is, definitely a mouse pad, you can see the stitching on the sides, somebody says. So, kind of, kind of cool, I suppose. There are worse accessories for sure. Moving on to the face masks. They've been doing face masks before face masks were cool, so can't knock them for that. And I actually think these ones are kind of cool. A little bit too loud to tie. I mean, with a face mask like this, it's kind of hard to tie in with an outfit unless you're doing like all white or like all black or something, you know, as far as your shirt and stuff goes. But yeah, not, not bad face masks. And then we have a shoulder bag which I've always seen like terrible things with these like stitching and whatnot. So if you are considering it, I'd be careful, but I will say it looks like it might be a different blank than they've used previously. I don't know, still looks pretty cheaply made. We have a watch. I'm not exact, I got no idea who made this watch. I don't see any other branding than antisocial. I'm not like a watch guy. I don't know, if you guys want, you can, Go to this post and investigate whatever it says on the bottom here's the all right so we're getting into the actual clothing stuff here's the overthinking stuff we saw before where this i mean this blue one really looks like some text messages you just need that little like speech bubble like curve on the bottom and ba bam but yeah I, I i don't care for this i don't care for it at all uh we also don't have a picture of the front so you so you don't know what it says no one antisocial, probably just the same thing, but smaller, but you never know. All right, moving forward, uh, if this looks blurry, that's not because my internet is shit in the bed or anything. This is the actual graphic. It's just like, I don't even know if it's supposed to be pixelated. It just looks blurry. It looks, this is trash. Like, am I tripping or is the, <laughs> the back design blurry? Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, where's the... Uh, wh I don't see the appeal in that. Uh, we have the stressed and depressed stuff. You got a big antisocial logo on the back, stressed and depressed. We already saw it before. Moving forward, the welcome to the club stuff. Looks like we do have a big antisocial spell on the back. And 
the tee's not bad. The t-shirt's not bad. I don't, uh, I don't think it's bad. I think it's fine. It's a cool nod to something they've been doing as a brand. And then on the back, you also get the logo. So it's not bad. I don't mind these. Uh, these kind of shadow spell out ones, I think these are dumb. Really hard to tell what's going on. It looks like the shadow is like very, very minimal. Almost looks like there's like a stain there. I don't know if maybe we look closer. It comes in a little bit more clear, but... Yeah, I, I don't like this. There's no need for it to be upside down either. Got the instant gratification going on here. Um, looks like on the back, it's hard to tell if that's a solid color. Is that just like solid red and that's the product image? Or is there some type of fill pattern, like some flames or something? I don't know. Moving forward, we got this like Olympic stuff. Uh, Olympic stuff like I was saying. I like the idea of it, but maybe not the execution. It seems too contained. It seems too contained to the uh, screen that they use to print it. You know, you can see it's all contained within this rectangle here. Same over here, all contained within the rectangle. Rather than going all out on something like that all over floral print, I think it'd be cool to see them do an all over print like this, you know, put some of this on the sleeves, work it going up the sleeve, you know, print on the bottom, have it over overlapping, yeah, you know, it's it's like drippy paint, it's supposed to be messy, get it all over, make it, make it look kind of cool, but yeah, for, for me, that's a, a reason to pass on the design, uh, more of these flags that we saw earlier, we have California, no idea, uh, Arizona, and then I believe Maryland, I think Massachusetts, Maine. I don't know. <laughs> what somewhere over there. I think it's Maryland. I know their football team has that on the sleeves and then like Baltimore Ravens have that too. So I I always I've always thought that's kind of cool. Reminds me of like the Knights. But but anyway, uh other than that, I, I don't like this design. Uh moving forward, we have some acid wash stuff or just uh they might all be some some sort of dyeing of the pigment uh, in the garment. The fill itself appears to be maybe that all over floral print. It's hard to tell what's going on. It does kind of look like floral stuff though. Uh, and then next up we have this overspray jaded stuff going on. You know, we saw this before. And I think this might actually be, oh, I guess we got this last one. So. Last one that we have shown off are the crop tops, and I support this. I like this. Um, the, the actual design's not really feeling any of them, but I, I, I support this. You know, this is the first time I've seen Antisocial do female specific. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say that. Uh, this is the first time I've seen them do like a like a clothing item that's more female specific. I don't know if they've done any like thongs or bikinis or anything like that in the past the past <laughs> but uh sound like mike tyson there but yeah i, I support this I, I like when brands you know cater to the female audience as well instead of just doing like men's or you know labeling it unisex or whatever it's a cool uh way to get people or you know widen the uh the streetwear audience you know i don't know I, I appreciate it i think it's cool uh but yeah that that's it for what we've got so far usually as far as antisocial stuff goes, the better pieces are saved till the end, like right before the drop happens, they'll tease it. So like all week they've been posting these uh, these images and uh, usually the best stuff drops like right before the drop um, or goes up like the night before in terms of when they post it. So keep an eye on it, you know, keep an eye on their Instagram. It's just antisocial social club. If you guys are interested in the drop, you know, Keep an eye on it tomorrow. I check it before the drop. You'll have a very good idea of what's going to be releasing. They do have some surprise items sometimes. And I think they've been doing this recently for the last couple releases that they actually just put the, the drop list itself up. So that will give you guys a good idea of what is releasing. But other than that, that's all I've got for you guys. <laughs> like I said, I don't support this brand. I don't condone buying from them. I'd recommend finding a different brand. There's plenty of other brands that you can buy overpriced, um, cheap blanks from and wait a couple months to receive 
that you know will have less issues than this so that's that's my recommendation for now but i, I hope you guys enjoyed the video found this somewhat useful as always thank you for watching and i will catch you in the next video